there are more drivers looking for a job than there are seats to sit in. But there are a couple of possibilities in central Pennsylvania. We will discuss a couple of those vacancies on today's edition of the Sprint Car Limited 90 at 9. Before we get into it, don't forget to click the subscribe button on our YouTube channel and also check out our daily exclusive content at www.sprintcarlimited.com. Last night, I broke the news that Freddie Raymer had called his car owner, Rich Eichelberger, and told him that he was going to run his family-owned car full-time next season. According to Raymer, he is going to run the same schedule that he has in the past. As for Eichelberger, this could mean his car is open for 2025. Raymer and Eichelberger racked up a respectable 25 wins in three seasons and four track championships, two of which came at Lincoln Speedway and two more at Williams Grove. The equipment is good, so that isn't a problem. But Eichelberger did admit that he was surprised by Raymer's move and said that his operation is on hold for now. This is still a fresh situation, so I understand Eichelberger being hesitant. As for whether or not he returns next season, that could be determined by the calls he receives. Another car that is vacant is the John Trone entry. Cody Hartlob and Trone parted ways recently, which leaves the longtime owner looking for a driver to fill the seat of the number 39 next year. I talked to Trone not too long ago, and he gave no indication that he is ready to step away from the sport. Like Eichelberger, the equipment is in place, and Trone is looking for a driver to pair with crew chief Kevin Fry. But Trone also said he is not going to force it, and he is looking for the right driver for his situation. As for the drivers who could fill these seats, Dylan Sisney and Devin Borden have to be at the top of the list of eligible candidates from a local standpoint. If you're looking for an outsider, that's a tough call. These aren't traveling teams, so a driver would have to be content running full-time in central Pennsylvania, and that's not likely. That's going to wrap up this edition of the Sprint Car Unlimited 90 at 9, and we'll be back tomorrow. Stay tuned.